Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews. I'm doing another video today. In today's video, I want to give you an update on my LG V30. And then also give you an update on my rant video that I did last month about the same phone. But before I do that, check this out. Okay, everyone, so I hope y'all having a great day today. Just wanted to make this video, give you an update on my rant video I did a couple weeks ago. I was really mad at LG and T-Mobile for not updating my device, the V30 from T-Mobile. Maybe they watched the rant video, maybe they didn't. Maybe they finally decided to update the phone. But I was playing around with my V30, taking some pictures uh, against the G7 ThinQ, when I noticed they had an update for my V30. I almost fell down to the ground and started crying because I finally got an update. I didn't know what the update was until I actually read it. I got Android 8.0 and I also got a security patch update from December to April. Yes, it's still not running Android 8.1 and it's still not a May or June security patch, but hey, you got to you got to take what you can get and I'm going to take it for now. But in this video, I just want to compare you know, show y'all a little bit difference on the what's different on the V30 now in the sense it's running Android 8.0. And then also compare the camera apps from the G7 ThinQ to the V30. So we can see if there's any, uh, you know, if it's the same or it's a little bit different. Definitely can look into that too. But T-Mobile and LG pulled the magic trick. And I'm going to get to that point really quick. Y'all see the V30, right? I have a V30. I bought a V30. But if I power this bad boy on now, bam! Look at that. I got a ThinQ. G7 ThinQ, V30 ThinQ. Just like magic. When I turned it on, it was like, bam, right in my face. I got, for some reason, my V30 transformed like Bumblebee into a V30 ThinQ. What does that mean? I'm going to show y'all in a little bit what, what they did. But let's get into the video. Let's show you what changes in Android 8.0. In case you have the V30, if you have the T-Mobile one, if you haven't been updated yet, stay tuned. It's definitely coming. But I just want to show you a little bit difference in here. First thing I'm going to go into is the batteries. So now you have the different looking Android 8.0 Oreo battery saving tips and tricks. And so it looks more like my V30. It looks more like my Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Now in the battery, I've been using it a little bit today. I don't think it's as worse as some people are saying it is. Is it as good as 8.1? No, but... Or I don't think it's improved. I think it's about the same type of battery life that I was getting. Also, as you can tell, just the display, just the... Icons are a little bit different in the um, setting menu. I mean, it's just different little icons. To me, it looks a little bit cleaner. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Is, is it a little bit cleaner or not? The nice thing, too, you have a couple things in here. Notifications. You can actually have your icon badges now. Show the number or without the number. Bam. I always have it on the number. Also, just like the new the ability that you can have with the updates, with the apps, if it loads... So, like Twitter, look, I, I have some lag too. Y'all see that lag? I just seen that lag today, just now. A little bit lag, maybe. Maybe it's still working out some kinks. But just the, the ability to send notifications, you can turn off, turn on these. Yes, I know, it's Android 8.0. They've been having it for about a year now. I understand. But, hey, you got it on your V30 now, and that's actually pretty cool too. I like, I like the notifications. You can do your lock screen. One other thing I noticed on here was... Oh, now they changed the extensions. It looks like you have an extension thing. They also added the gaming app. They call it shortcut uh, smart settings instead of uh, the context uh, things on the G7 ThinQ. So have you knock on, but looks like they cleaned this up a little bit, and then they also added the gaming one, which wasn't on the V30 before, if I'm not mistaken. So that's actually pretty cool too. I'm gonna get into the cameras really soon. There was something else. Oh, the icon shapes. Let's see. I mean, this is all normal 8.0 settings, but LG finally stepped it up. Let's see. So you can do the icon shapes. 
the original. I have it on round. You can do square, circle. I just like it on round. I don't know why, but that's what I, I'm going to leave it on. That's about the only thing I noticed different in there. I'm still looking in it, trying to dig a little bit deeper into the settings to see if I noticed anything else different than what was on the V30 to the V30 Thing Q and Android 8.0. Okay, everyone. So the next thing I want to show y'all, the, the biggest thing that updated from the V30 and it went to that V30 Thing Q is the camera app. I'm going to show y'all how it looks compared to the actually the LG G7 Thing Q. Let's get into it. So you go to the camera app. You can see right away that it's a little bit different at the bottom. You have Q lens and then you have the AI cam just like you have on the G7 Thing Q. Except for you don't have Q lens, you have uh, Google lens. The Q lens is doesn't work that well. Let's see. Maybe it will work now. You can take a picture of, of anything, and if they have it on Amazon, it will bring it up, but it misses about 75% of the time. Look at that, it made a liar out of me. Bam, shout out to the uh, unboxing knife. Shout out to Big Migs for giving this to me. So that time it actually worked. So, I mean, hey, will that be useful? I guess sometimes... I don't know why they didn't get with Google Lens on this one either, but hey, it's on there. So they definitely updated it. Then the AI cam, I mean, that's just like a normal, it tries to figure out what you're trying to take a picture of. So that one is telling me that it's a person. Not very accurate at all. But I don't know if you can see that on the video. Infinity, it, I, it just goes, hey, look, it said the right color, black, close up. Now, one thing they didn't add either that you have on the G7 Thing Q is portrait mode. There's no portrait mode in there. None. It's all the same modes. They didn't really update that much at all. Now, one thing they did update too is the bright mode, which is actually pretty cool. I don't know why it's not showing up. Oh, if I take it off an of AI cam. Uh, bright mode, you can read that. Take a bright and clear photos. In the dark, not available in UHD, 60 frames, and wide angle. So that actually works out pretty good compared to other phones. It's almost like cheating, I guess. Now let's compare. And then you can tell even the options down there are the same. I mean, look. Let me bring my G7 into the picture. I'm going to go into the same settings. Bam, look at that. V30, thank you. G7, thank you. Basically, the bottom has the same type of options now. Different little toggles that you can change the the video to. Also, the camera app, the pixels on there. It has live photo on here, but they didn't add live photo to this one. I don't see it. But they, like I said, they added the bright. Uh, this one says super bright mode. This says bright mode. So let's go back. You can see the front. This one has portrait and Google Lens and AI cam. This one only has the AI cam and Q Lens. So they did some updates to my LG V30. Now it's a thin Q. I have two thin Qs on here, which is amazing. So look, bam, bam, there you go. The LG V30 thin Q. But just to recap, I mean, they, yes, LG and T-Mobile finally sent an update. If you have the V30, let me know if you have the update. Let me know if you're running Android 8.0 or if you're still on Android NuGet 7.1.2 or something. Let me know how you like it if you do have the Android 8.0. And then also if you have the new AI technology. Do you actually use that a lot? I don't know. Let me know. But I just wanted to do this video, give you all an update on the LG V30, the Android 8.0 update, plus the AI technology. My phone magically uh transform from you know eight that i mean from a regular v30 to the v30 thing q if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so for more coverage on the lg g7 thing q and the v30 thing q i'm making a comparison video as we speak if you like this video give me a thumbs up and until next time peace i'm out of here y'all have a great day now enjoy the rest of your day